Hey everybody, welcome back to Sounds Like a Drum, Cadence Independent Media Production Product Feature Day. We are going over a snare batter, a fascinating snare batter from Attack Drum Heads, it's the Baron. Attack drum heads have been around since the 80s, longer than I realized actually. They've been through a lot of different iterations, ownership, and they're kind of coming back through uh, via Cardinal Percussion. And we have struck up a friendship with them and are checking out a whole bunch of drum heads from them in the next little while. The first head that we're talking about is called the Baron. It's really interesting, has a few different features, and we're gonna kind of use that head to talk about a bunch of standard features about their stuff in addition to things specific to this head. Now the first thing that sets these heads apart is probably also the most noticeable when you pick it up, and it is the hoop. It is a crimped hoop rather than a glued hoop. So what you're dealing with is no glue at all where the drum skin essentially is put into the hoop. It is a steel ring inside, an aluminum piece that goes around, and it's just mechanically crimped around to hold the head in there. So consequently, they're really in there. <laughs> And it's something that I've seen on marching heads before where tension is paramount and we're pulling out like you, you have to be very, very careful that they don't get pulled out of the hoop. And it's pretty cool to see it on drum set heads now. The collar designs on the heads are essentially the same as what you would see from other brands, you know, that are making their stuff here in the States. They're a little taller. They are their own unique thing. They tune up great. They sound fantastic, um, as you're going to see in a second. Immediately noticeable things. The center top dot, not underside, but on this side, uh, is red and the flesh hoop itself is black, which is unique to this model. This is a 10 mil single ply coated head, again with a top dot, and then a sort of minimal overtone control ring on the underside. All right, let's check out what it does. We're gonna start with a medium tuning. Largely, it sounds like I was expecting. The center dot adds a little bit of mass and makes it a little fatter, a little bit girthier, and then the edge ring takes some of the overtones away, which focuses the sound, makes it really kind of easy to play, makes it comfortable to get a lot of different dynamics out of it without squashing it completely the way that larger overtone rings might. And overall, it feels pretty durable, feels solid, and because it's a top dot, there's a little bit of extra articulation because the rest of the head is coated, but the strike zone in the center is not. All right, let's go down, let's go low. Wild and woolly, as expected. It's still articulate in the center, and it is doing the thing that we're always looking for here, which is articulation at low dynamics and a larger sound the harder you hit the drum all the way to the rim shot. Again, this kind of overtone, crazy sound, especially at this low tuning, could be a lot for live or the studio, so we always have our trusty bandana here to kind of dial it in and make it a little warmer, a little tighter, get a little bit more of like, like it's like a 60s kind of sound.
Feeling pretty good? Sounds great on this drum. Now before we change anything, let's hear what it sounds like at this low tension with the snare wires off, more of like a tom kind of vibe. This is really nice. Um, sometimes when you have no help muffling or anything like that on the snare and you play it off like this, it gets to be kind of an overtone party, but this is a little bit thicker, a little bit warmer. It sounds more like a tom, which sometimes is actually the best thing if you're already dealing with a lot of low drums, or conversely, if you're a person who likes to tune your rack tom in the same range or higher than your snare, which some people do, um, this is a nicely controlled sound that blends in rather than sounding like toms and then a snare drum. All right, let's jump it up high. Now, it really shines up here um, because of where the mass is distributed on the head. It's one of those heads where the harder you hit it, the better it sounds, especially up like this, which is what you want from this kind of tuning, or at least what I do, because generally when I'm tuning like this, particularly in live situations, this is about getting through the band. This is about having presence and attack, <laughs> like the name, and making sure that it's not gonna choke if I hit it as hard as I can. I need it to kind of grow and have the sound kind of bloom out of the drum when you're really, really digging into it. Um, and I'm having no problem getting that at all. Now let's do a quick back-to-back -back comparison in all these tunings. Um, and I wanna mention also, I had no trouble moving between these tunings, which, you know, going from medium and playing it hard to super low to super high, not every head can survive that. Like we've really been putting it through the paces. When I'm choosing drum heads, I care a lot about the feel. I care a lot about consistency, uh, tunability, range, just how, how versatile is the thing, how good of a tool is it gonna be for making music and not becoming a thing I'm thinking about while I'm playing. And I'm definitely getting an extraordinary amount of mileage out of this head, which, to be totally honest, isn't the sort that I would normally choose. And that's always a nice surprise to find something that isn't your normal thing, that gives you something that is actually kind of awesome and makes you think differently, play differently and make different choices. It's worth saying that when it comes to brands and when it comes to all the stuff that we use, it's easy to have preconceived notions about things. It's easy to think that you know something and it's really worth remembering that Nine times out of 10, I've been surprised. Every now and then something turns out to be exactly like you thought it was gonna be, and either that's good or maybe it's terrible. But this was a situation where I went in wondering what it was gonna be, and I had preconceived notions, and they were shattered, and I would not <laughs> fib about a thing like that. I mean, I take this stuff very seriously. I take music and gear and sound very seriously. Um, anybody that's watched this show knows that I'm kind of 
I mean, this is what I care about. So um, please, please go with me when I say that this stuff is worth checking out and I'm super excited about it. That about does it for today. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you hear about all of our new videos as we drop them. We are still doing tutorials every Tuesday, 12.30 p.m. Eastern Time, in addition to snare spotlights, product features, growing relationships with the community. We are super thankful to Cardinal Percussion for hooking us up with all these heads to check out and talk about and see what they do. Please let us know your experiences. Um, we're super curious about different brands and this is a new one for us so if you have experience with them let us know um, what you do with them what kind of music you play if you were surprised you know anything like that and I'll see you in the comments